Biochemical oxygen demand is defined as the amount of oxygen absorbed by a sample of sewage during a specified period at a specified temperature for the aerobic destruction or use of organic matter by living organisms. The difference in dissolved oxygen between the initial measurement and the fifth day measurement represents the biochemical oxygen demand. <laughs> Training of excess nutrients encourages the rapid growth of photosynthesis, especially algae. Examples of excess nutrients are organic fertilizers, untreated sewage, and animal waste. The excessive growth of algae restricts the penetration of light into water. As a result, the photosynthesis of other aquatic plants is greatly reduced. And this further decreases the supply of oxygen in the water. Photosynthetic organisms die and organic material accumulates at the bottom of the lake. Population of aerobic bacteria increases as it uses up oxygen faster than it can be replenished. Biochemical oxygen demand increases and causes the oxygen levels to decrease rapidly. The low level of oxygen concentration kills larger aerobic aquatic organisms such as fish. Organisms that require higher oxygen levels will not survive. In extreme cases, if the oxygen level continues to drop and the water becomes completely deoxygenated, anaerobic bacteria will grow and release toxic gases such as hydrogen sulfide, causing the death of many aquatic organisms including fish. To test the BOD levels of several samples of water from different sources, we must use methylene blue solution. Methylene blue solution can detect the presence of oxygen in water. It gives out blue color in the presence of oxygen and turns colorless when there is no oxygen. The higher content of dissolved oxygen equals to less pollinated water. The region bottle must be kept at dark places to avoid sunlight from reaching the bottle. The methylene blue solution must be added at the base of the water samples to avoid being oxidized by atmospheric oxygen. <laughs> 